Game of Thrones is about uh, this huge kingdom. Uh, it's basically seven kingdoms in, with one ruler, one king. And you have all these families fighting for the power of, of this country. The previous king was not a very nice guy. He was a horrible dictator. I was his personal bodyguard and um, I killed him. When I watched the Mad King die, I remembered him laughing as your father burned. My uh, twin sister is Cersei and, uh, and we're very close. It's a disturbing relationship in many ways. And he has a line in, in episode one when he says the things I do for love when he pushes a kid out a window. But it is truly, I believe anyway, that he does it out of love in his in, in very twisted love. I hadn't read the books. They're all based on, uh, on these novels by uh, George Martin. And I hadn't, I hadn't uh, read them. So they described this world and it sounded great and fascinating. And then they described Jamie the Kingslayer. And then I think like an hour in, into the discussion, said, oh, by the way, yeah, um, he sleeps with his sister. And I was like, ah, what was that? Yeah, okay, that's interesting. An eight, nine-year-old kid being breastfed by his mom, is that crossing the line? Why would you say that? I have to say that scene was by far for me, like I was like, oh. And I remember I was actually, that day they were shooting that scene. I, I had another scene later on and I came on set, I met some of the crew and they're like, oh, I was just, it's just wrong, it's just wrong. I made the kid do that, I just, <laughs> but I like it because I think it's a fantastic scene because you really, I really react to it when I see it. And I know that, yeah, it's a, it's a fake breast. Of course, of course it's a fake breast, you know? Yeah. <sighs> what I hadn't, I hadn't experienced that before on, on, on anything I've done, that um, maybe also because of the internet today and, and because of, of the fans of this show are very vocal and then, and like, but, but the, the, the reaction to, to an episode is, is instant. It's like, you know, bang, like Twitter, Facebook, all those things. And, uh, and it was funny to see how after episode nine, when Ned Stark is executed, so many people go, oh, I'm never gonna watch that show again. It's the worst show ever. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. And of course, then the ratings went up next. And it, but what's great about it is like, we talked about that earlier about passion. If you want, people to be passionate. I mean, if people are passionate about a show, that's a fantastic thing, even if they don't like the direction the show is taking. But the fact that they get that invested in the characters, that it almost seems like you've killed one of their loved ones, it's, it's, it's I mean, I'm so grateful to be part of this. I, I it's really.